This is something I've been waiting for for a while. A uh, little backstory. I was at SHOT Show and I saw a prototype of this flashlight and uh, I asked to uh, get a sample to do a review on and at the time they said we don't have any, uh, they're all out and they didn't have any in stock, uh, they had to build more. So I was like, okay, whatever, whenever you guys are ready. And I finally got one in for review. All right, so let's open this sucker up. Check that out. That's a Spyderco Civilian. <laughs> Pretty badass, right? Look at that tip. Ooh, you do not want to get cut by that. Let's close this thing up before I, I chop off a finger. <laughs> yeah. Boom, right there, look at that. 12,000 lumens, guys. I mean, I was basically, you know, <laughs> freaking out back in the day when I could get 600 lumens. 600 lumens was like insane. And then, you know, over the last five years, technology has just skyrocketed. And now we're at the point where we got these basically compact flashlights. When I say compact, I'm meaning they're much more compact than this dinosaur. This is an old mag light. Remember these? <laughs> this thing is very compact compared to this. And it's pumping out 12,000 lumens. Ooh, look at that. That is nice. That is just sexy. Got a little pull handle here. Look at that. And there is the sexy beast. Olight X7R Marauder. Damn, that's nice. All right, so inside here, looks like we got a bunch of accessories. You got your spec sheet, your manual. You got a nylon holster, so you can put it on your belt or on your pack, very cool. USB-C cable, your wall charger, and, oh cool, look at that lanyard. It's actually a really long lanyard. All right, so here we go, taking off the plastic for the first time. Oh! It's like a work of art. The finish is a black, they call it military grade, type three hard coat anodizing. And it looks really nice, very durable for sure. Very um, typical with Olight, they do uh, really good work for sure. Inside here you can see three Cree XHP70 LEDs. Those are some really huge LEDs. High quality, high output, and they're set shallow in an orange peel reflector. So as I said many times in my uh, flashlight reviews, uh, when the LEDs are set shallow with orange peel, clearly that's a sign that it is a floodlight because the, the more shallow the LEDs, the wider the beam pattern is going to be. And then uh, the orange peel bumpiness is going to bounce those light particles all over the place and make it nice and floody. Moving down the flashlight, as you can see, it has these large heat sinks here to help dissipate all that heat from these three LEDs. And then right here you have your rubberized mode button, just one button operation. Moving down, you got Olight branding down the middle. The body has these flutes cut into them. Uh, you have these finger grooves right here, three finger grooves to help you hold it. There is no tail clicky because it's not a tactical light. This is a search and rescue light. And there's no removable batteries. The batteries are built into this thing. And uh, to charge it, you'll see right here, this is cool. You twist it to open the door, as you can see right there. And then right here, there is a little blue anodized thingamajiggy, I guess you'd call that. <laughs> uh, and that's where you can mount your lanyard. So you can wrap this around your wrist so you don't drop it when you're doing search and rescue type stuff. Or camping or whatever, hiking. All right, let's talk about the modes real quick. You have a one button operation. Hold the button down for a few seconds. You go into night light mode, which is 10 lumens for 30 days. So like I always say, if you're trapped in a cave, you'll run out of food and water, but you'll have light every single day for 30 days straight. Pretty impressive. 
hold it down again, you'll go into low, which is 500 lumens for 14 hours. Hold it down again, you go to medium, which is 1,000 lumens for 6 hours. Hold it down again, boom, that's high, 3,000 lumens for 2 hours and 10 minutes. Double tap from here, boom, 7,000 lumens for 12 minutes. And then uh, once it depletes, it'll drop down automatically to 3,000 lumens for 110 minutes. And then double click again, boom, 12,000 lumens, ouch, 12 thousand lumens for three minutes and then once the battery depletes it'll drop down to 3,000 lumens for 120 minutes automatically now check this out there's a proximity sensor built into the uh, the head of the flashlight so if I put my hand in front of 12,000 lumens it's gonna burn but then it'll sense it see that it'll sense my hand there and then automatically dim down to protect my hand or protect whatever is in front of it and then once you move it it'll come right back that is pretty cool. Woo, this thing's getting hot. And if you look right there, you can see the proximity sensor right there, that little dot. It's rated to throw its light out to 380 meters or 1,247 feet. That's pretty good for a floodlight. Like I said, this is designed for flood, nice and wide, not for throwing, but still 1,200 feet, that's pretty damn good. It's ready to be dropped from a height of 3.3 feet or 1 meter, so it should survive in case you do accidentally drop it. Make sure you use that lanyard so you don't drop it. For the guys that want to know the candela, this has 36,100 candela, and it is said to be waterproof IPX7. dunk this underwater. Uh, I wouldn't go scuba diving with it but it can survive getting dunked in a river or a stream if you fall down or if you get stuck in a rainstorm, snowstorm, whatever. You're fine. And in case you're wondering if you look inside the charge port door here if you open it up it's completely dry. And because the batteries are internal and not removable, they offer a one-year warranty on the internal batteries on these as well. So you could, if you have any issues, you can mail it back to Olight and they'll take care of you. This thing is very stout and heavy and beefy. This thing weighs 23.5 ounces, so just be aware of that if you put this in your backpack. It's going to be down at the bottom weighing your backpack down for sure. All right, so let's talk about the charge port here. You twist it to access the uh, USB Type-C charge port. And here is the USB cable. All right, so when you plug your USB Type-C in the back here, you'll see a glowing red color right there. That'll turn green when it's fully charged. By the way, this uh, power bank is by Out XE. This thing is pretty badass. It's waterproof, ruggedized, and it's solar powered with two USB ports and a USB Type-C and a micro USB charge port right there. I'm going to do a review on this thing. This thing is freaking awesome. Waterproof too. Alright, so let's take a look at some footage I took of this flashlight actually being used. Check this out. 7,000 lumens, as you can see. Again, nice and wide. It lights up the garage and the house all at once. Let's go to 12,000 lumens. Bam! <laughs> that is incredible. Lights up their whole property. That is insane. So if you're in the business of searching things, this is a good light to have if you really want a nice wide searchlight for sure. All right, and let's go to Turbo S, which is 12,000 lumens. Double click again. Boom, look at that. 12,000, that's like daylight right there in front of me. Look at that. This sucker is reaching way out there. 
and flooding this entire area. Keep in mind, my camera is not a nighttime high sensitivity camera. So with my naked eye, I can see literally a hundred yards from left to right. Boom, look at that. Lights up the forest all the way down there. Oh my God. This thing is definitely a pretty good floodlight. Wow, look at that. You can see all the way out there. Lighting up all the trees, all the way down this path. There's a sign down there. That's pretty good. All right, so there's low, medium, high, low, medium, high. That's high. And let's go to turbo, double click. Boom. That is pretty impressive. Nice flood. You can see it's still pretty powerful on low. You can still do what you need to do on low. Medium, even better. This camera's picking up a lot of this light. And then back on high, boom, there's high. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Makes an absolutely awesome camp light. All right, so as you can see, this thing is one serious powerhouse. I think this is intended for search and rescue crews or security, maybe law enforcement who uh, may need a lot of light to light up an area. Uh, this would be a fantastic option for those guys for sure. Pros and cons like anything else in life, there's a lot of pros for this thing. Super powerful, nice and wide, good throw, long battery life. The downsides is it gets really hot, really, really hot. I mean it'll start burning your hand and you can't hold it. So you'll either have to wear gloves or wrap this thing with some kind of heat wrap or something, maybe um, one of those new whiz-bang you know, polymer wraps or maybe some tape of some type. Um, I would recommend another model have a uh, thread for a tripod so you can uh, mount a tripod mount on this and maybe put a handle on it or mount it on a tripod. That'd be nice. Uh, this does not have that. So uh, you do have the lanyard loop again, like I said earlier, so you could put a lanyard on here, but that really doesn't do you any good um, if uh, you got to hold the thing because you still have to hold it to, to use it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to buy this flashlight, go to olightworld.com to check out all the deals. Uh, sometimes they have discounts. Maybe even I will have discounts. Uh, look in the description box below this video, and there may, may or may not be a discount code there for you guys. So there you go, guys. That is a look at the Olight X7R Marauder 12,000 lumens. Incredible, powerful floodlight, searchlight. It is pricey, but for the guys who have to have some of the coolest flashlights, most powerful flashlights on the market, this is definitely one to own for sure. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that like button to support my channel. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Olight X7R Marauder 12,000 lumen flashlight. Thanks a lot, guys.